Hey everybody, it's Jacob from Auto Autopsy. I'm here today to show you how to drive a manual car. So let's go ahead and get started. So in this video, I'm just gonna be going over how to turn the car on and off, how to start and stop it, and how to change gears. So the first thing you're gonna notice is that there is a third pedal in a manual car, which is the clutch, and then followed by the brake and the gas. Now you're gonna to wanna to use your left foot for the clutch only and still use your right foot for the brake and the gas. So the clutch pedal is pretty much used just as much as the gas and brake. So don't think that you're not going to be using it at all. You're gonna be using it every time you change gears and every time you try and start and stop the car. Every single clutch pedal is different. Some of them are long and some of them are short. And this means that the meaty portion of the clutch or the part where the clutch is engaging with the car is either right at the bottom of the pedal or almost near the top. And that's again entirely dependent on the car. So before you start driving, you really wanna get familiar with that clutch pedal. So you wanna just start by pushing it all the way in and pulling it all the way back out the whole way. And at first when you start to push it, you'll feel that there's almost no resistance similar to kind of the gas or the brake. But then as you slowly start to go down, you'll feel more and more resistance. And that resistance is what's called the bite point or where the clutch engages. So a couple other things that you want to consider before you start driving are your shoes and your seat position. Now this may kind of sound kind of dumb, but your shoes are actually really important. You want to make sure that you're wearing closed toed shoes. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could try driving with flip flops or something, but I've tried it before and the, sometimes it can get caught when you're pushing the clutch in and it's just, it's not worth the hassle, honestly. And your seat position is very important because you want to make sure that the seat is far enough up that you can put the clutch the whole way to the floor. So there's actually more advantages to driving stick than you think there are. First off, you get a better, better understanding of your car. So you'll know when you should be shifting to maximize your fuel economy, when you need to shift before you hit redline, what speed you'll be doing, what RPMs at, etc. Secondly, it's gonna prevent you from driving distractedly. You can't really text and drive or talk and drive while driving a stick because it requires both your hands, both your feet. I don't know why you would be texting with your left foot, but people are crazy, so you never know. But it always, you're always gonna to have to have one hand on the steering wheel and another hand on the gear shift, just so that way you're always ready to change gears whenever you need to. Thirdly, you're now able to drive any car. You can drive any old car you want. All of them are manual transmissions. They all have the same basic ergonomics. They all have a clutch pedal. They all have a gear shifter in the middle. So you can drive anything. And lastly, of course, it's more fun. You know, when you finally hit those shifts perfectly, it's such a rewarding feeling and it really makes you feel good. So something else you wanna do before you start driving is to get familiar with the gearbox and all the gears. So a lot of cars will have a kind of diagram on the top telling you where each gear is. And this sounds kind of dumb, but it's actually really helpful. So for example, put in the clutch, you're gonna go over and up for first gear. Keeping the clutch in, you're gonna go straight down for a second and then you're gonna go into the middle back in the neutral and then straight up for third gear and then to go into the fourth you're gonna want to go back down and just straight back down to four now for fifth you're gonna go up to the right and then up again now this car is kind of weird it has reverse down into the right which it's kind of a safety feature, but it has a little knob under here you have to pull up in order to go into reverse, so you don't actually do it when you're driving and destroy your transmission. So to go into the reverse, you're going to pull up, and then go over and down. So again, before you start driving, you just want to get a good feel for the gears. Just go through them, make sure you know where everyone is, and then you'll be ready to go. Okay, so now you're ready to start the car. So what you want to do first is make sure your foot is the whole way down on the clutch. Then you're ready to go ahead and key in the ignition, turn it on. Now keep your foot on the clutch the entire time. Now you can go ahead, pop it into neutral and take your foot off the clutch. Now when you're parked or stationary, you wanna always have your emergency brake on so that way you don't roll forwards or backwards. So now that you're ready to start driving, you can go ahead and just push in the button and release it. Now, I would definitely recommend is that you are on a flat surface for this. You don't want to take the emergency brake off and start rolling back and you'll panic and 
could crash or who knows what could go wrong. So you always want to practice in a flat parking lot where you're not going to roll forwards or backwards. Okay, so now you're ready to start. So you want to make sure that you put your foot the whole way in on the clutch and you're going to go over and up for first gear. Now, you can let your foot off the brake and you should be standing still. Not standing still, you should be sitting still, car shouldn't be moving. Now you're going to slowly release the clutch. And you'll start to roll forward a bit and then you're going to need to give the car a little bit of gas. Don't release the clutch the whole way yet. Give the car a little bit of gas and then keep letting off the clutch. And then you're good. So I'm going to show this to you guys again except from this point of view so that we can see how my feet are working down here. So first, clutch the whole way in and you're going to go into first. Slowly start to let the clutch out. Give it a little bit of gas and then keep letting the clutch out. And you can accelerate. So one thing that I want to mention before we keep going is that on this car, the clutch where it engages is very low to the ground. Now this might not be the case in your car, and your car could be almost all the way to the point where you let the clutch out. And that's okay, that's just how the car is. You'll just have to get used to it after driving it. So another thing that I want to go over is stalling. Now stalling is obviously something that you don't want to do because it's bad for the car and it makes you look like an idiot in front of everyone. But stalling is basically when you let the clutch out too soon. So if I were to just sit here standing still and just in gear and take my foot completely off the clutch, the car would jerk forward and I would stall. So if when you're practicing this and you slowly let the clutch out and the car starts to jerk, that means you got to give it gas because the clutch is engaging. So if it keeps jerking, when in doubt, either just push the clutch in to be safe or give it more gas. Now it's not gonna sound pretty or look pretty, but it'll get the job done until you get better at it. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys what to do when you do stall. And it's going to happen to everybody. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. So don't be embarrassed when it happens. So let's pretend that we're just sitting here at a stoplight getting ready to start out. So you're gonna remember, foot on the clutch, you're gonna go over and up for first gear. And let's say that you just forget and you let your foot out on the clutch completely. So the car just lurches forward and completely goes dead. So how you're gonna fix this is you're gonna put your foot the whole way down on the clutch, turn the key all the way to lock, turn it the whole way back to start, and the car starts back up again. So when I first learned how to drive stick, I didn't realize exactly how long you actually have to keep the clutch in. Now this is something that's going to take a while to get used to, but it's not just push the clutch in, give it gas, and let it out completely. It's something that's going to take a while for you to get used to. Getting that synchronicity between your left and right foot. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to stop the car because you don't just want to crash into whatever's in front of you because you don't know what to do. So we're going down a nice straight road here. We're in whatever gear we're in, doing whatever speed we're doing. So what you want to do, get around this turn first. So you're going to put your foot on the clutch, go into neutral. The car is just coasting here, doing nothing. I can rev the engine, it's not moving at all. And then just brake to a stop. Now, one thing that you don't want to do when you're sitting at a stoplight is just have the car in first gear, just ready to go. You want to keep the car in neutral. Keep your foot off the clutch pedal because that can wear it out and ruin your clutch, which you obviously don't want to do. And that was a bad habit I had at first when I started learning is I just always had the car in gear because, you know, I didn't want to panic and mess up and then have people honking at me for no reason. So just remember, keep the car in neutral and then, you know, when the light's about to change, you can go ahead, put it in first, clutch in, and then just start off like normal. Okay, so now we're going to try and do this again, except a bit more smoothly so that way you guys can see how it's supposed to look. So remember, first gear, foot, in the, foot on the clutch the whole way, and slowly let out, give it some gas, start accelerating, foot off the clutch, Clutch in, shift down in the second, clutch out, give it some more gas, accelerate some more here, clutch in, 
go up to third, clutch out, gas again. What the hell? It's a guy in the middle of the street. I almost hit him. Nice. Okay, so here we are coming up to a red light. I come to a stop, remember, in neutral. Light's gonna turn soon, so we're gonna go clutch in, first gear. And remember, when it turns, we're gonna slowly let our foot off the clutch and give it gas. So, slowly give it some gas. Shift in the second. Still accelerating, give it some more gas. In the third. Now we're at 40, so we're gonna go down in the fourth. Now the car's telling us to shift in the fifth, so we'll go ahead and do that. And we're coming up to another red light up here, so we're gonna go start braking, foot on the clutch, go into neutral, and then just coast. Okay guys, so now that you've learned how to start and stop and shift in a manual car, I'm gonna show you guys how to turn it off. So first thing you're gonna wanna do, obviously you're gonna be in neutral because you're not doing anything standing still. So. You always want to have the car in gear when you turn it off because it acts as almost a second emergency brake. Because if the car is in gear, it's not just going to be able to roll backwards if the emergency brake fails. So you're always going to want to put it in, in gear when you turn it off. So obviously to put it in gear, you're going to go clutch in, put it into whatever gear you like. Usually it's first gear. In this car, it has to be reverse. That's just how the car works. So I put it into reverse and pull up on the emergency brake, make sure it's on there you'll usually hear those clicks still keep your foot on the clutch go ahead turn the car off pull the key out foot off the clutch and there you go guys that is how you turn off a manual car as our channel grows i plan on making more videos on how to drive a manual including downshifting and how to start on hills which can be very difficult so stick around for more if you like this video and found it informative, go ahead, drop a like below, and we look forward to seeing you next video.